You're hanging with Cher. And Lil, speaking with two members of Canada's national rugby league team, the Canada Wolverines. Nick and Danny, two Canadian rugby league superstars. Welcome, boys. Do you want to tell us, first of all, I'll start with you, Nick. How did you get started in rugby league? And can you share with us your rugby league experiences thus far, teams you've played in, places you've gone? Um, so it was probably let's say 10 years ago now. A friend of mine who is a rugby photographer, Colin Watson, got me uh, introduced into rugby league. I started playing with the uh, Toronto City Saints. And uh, yeah, it's gone from there. I've uh, played with the club for nearly 10 years now. I'm now the president of the club as well. Um, wow. Ran uh, the Toronto Dragons Rugby League Club, which then moved into the Saints as well. Played for Ontario, played with Canada, and uh, I've traveled down to the States, into BC. Um, yeah, it's trying to go maybe over overseas, playing in England for a little bit, but yeah, it's been it's been great. Met a lot of great people over the over awesome. my tenure. Yeah, it sounds like it's taken you lots of places as well. Yeah, and met a lot of good people, a lot of great players. So any standout things that you know that have happened that you have a really great memory um, of? Our our first Ontario tour down to the states, where we beat uh, the Chicago Stockyards, was, was probably a <laughs> a great trip. That that was the most memorable one for me. All right, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. And Danny, same question. Uh, yeah, I started playing league when I was young, and uh, originally from Fiji, I moved to Australia. I uh, went to school there and played league over there. I uh, came here in 2008, and then not until 2010 when Jamie Lester approached me when it all started with Eric Perez um, behind them all. Uh, yeah, ever since then, one of the few players that actually got to start playing against one of the uh, memorable game was against US up in Kingston. Um, that was one of our first international games. Uh, we came close to beating US, but uh, yeah, it was one of the uh, great memories that we had to share. With just a bunch of guys being pulled from every rugby union clubs oh, yeah, to yeah. play league, represent Canada. It was originally based in Ontario, but then expanded to BC. Now we've got you know teams in BC, the likes of uh, uh, BC Wolves, uh, Whistle Wolves, and all them. Yeah. But yeah, it was, and then ever since then, then we did the Caribbean Cup. We used to have it, and then. It kind of died out a bit. Hopefully, we'll get it back soon enough uh, against Jamaica. Jamaica should travel up here. Yeah, so, yeah. hopefully, we'll make that trip back down. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens after this pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us all the teams that you've played for? Yeah, I played uh, for Sydney. I played for uh, Moorpark Broncos um, and played for high school as well. I uh, played for Fiji. Got to uh, represent my homeland, Fiji, for That's the awesome. Nines. Um, and then. Uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, then I came over here in 2010, so, and then that's when I represent Canada ever since. Great. And currently, are you playing? Currently, I'm I, not playing at the moment because I just recently had my knee <laughs> surgery, ACL reconstruction. But uh, hopefully, I'll be back next season. Uh, let's see how nice. it uh, pans out. And With Toronto? Recovery. With Toronto, and um, there's the president yeah, and CEO yeah. for Toronto City Saints right there. <laughs> I, th I think he can uh, pull some strings and get you in, right? <laughs> we, might, we might have a spot available. I don't know. We'll see. Awesome. Well, as you mentioned, no one's really doing much of anything right now because of the pandemic that uh, is worldwide. So I know you recently had surgery, but you've probably been doing some recovery from that and as well, probably still trying to stay fit both mentally and physically. So can you tell us how you've been doing that? Yeah, I've been doing my physio. Uh, thanks to a uh, shout out to Dave Wilkins. Um, He's up in Stouffville, one of the best uh, physiotherapy, and Lisa as well. Um, did my physio and uh, training, getting back into action. Uh, not only that, I've been going back to work. I only had a f eight weeks off uh, uh, since. Not much recovery. No, time. not much recovery time. Plus, I had a baby a yes, week later. So, <laughs> so yeah, so my my hands are full, <laughs> but you know, being parent, just trying to juggle it around, and yeah, yeah we manage. My wife helps me a lot, so it's. Uh, it's, she's been very supportive throughout this whole thing. As, as a rugby players, we always people always think so. How do they put up with it, right? It, it comes down to our partners being right. letting us to go and have fun, play the game, love the sport, and obviously with something like this with the injury, we always have our backs. Absolutely, and again, that would help too. Even just you know knowing you have that support during that pandemic, yeah. during your time of recovery. 
it's hard, but you have your family and keeps you busy. And, oh yeah, my daughters keeps me fun. busy. Yeah, yeah. They're so cute, your <laughs> daughters. You. They're so cute. All right, and Nick, how about yourself? You're looking fit and trim, so you've got to be doing something I, right I during this pandemic. I appreciate the compliment, but you don't have to lie to me. <laughs> no, um, no lies, no lies. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been tough. I'm sure everyone, uh, everyone during this time has been struggling. No gyms open, stuff like that. So, uh, I have a, a big tractor tire at, at oh, my nice. uh, at my place of work, so I've been coming up with some workouts there and going on some runs. But it, it's hard to stay motivated when you have to work out with uh, yeah. with with just yourself, really. But uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we can get the boys back training soon and, and get a little motivation to get moving. So. If today they said, boys, let's go, we're, we're good to go, we can play rugby league, would you be back out on the pitch right away? My boots are in the car, ready to go. <laughs> nice. Yeah. We'd be right there with you doing some interviews. Love it, love it. <laughs> All right. With a lot of pauses in the game playing right now, but do you guys know of any grassroots activities at the community level that people can still get involved in, in terms of the sport? Uh, now or even maybe beyond pandemic? We're in the talks of that. Um, I am one of the men's rep to the uh, Ontario board. Uh, we're still in talks of getting the whole plan to get back into sports. Right. Still in the meeting, still being written on the paper. And once we get that all processed through, and obviously with each clubs, we're going to have a plan of returning to training, returning to play. Right. Because we're going to we have to follow the guidelines from the yeah, government. Yeah. So a lot well of approvals sure, yeah, that's exactly. necessary. Okay. So everything has to be safe for everybody. Not not just for adults but for kids as well right. try and get parents to get their kids back in the sports right absolutely so. absolutely so in terms of that is it going to be full contact or is it going to be a really different form uh the, the talks right now we, we're talking to uh get the the tag rugby which is flag rugby right to get the kids involved and Excellent. obviously for players probably like myself if i retire early to go and play those sports because <laughs> and, and for sharon lil right? as well <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for some of us, um, yeah. So that's that's going to be in the process as well. So we're going to get that uh, going through. It's in the talks, and, and nice. as soon as that comes out, I think it's going to go in the website. The website's still in the build right now, and obviously everybody will know about it. And then each club's going to try and get that out to the community to get everybody out. And obviously, with everybody locked down right now, uh -huh. people are trying to find some ways to stay active, right? So, right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and Nick, for you guys, I mean, like, you know, from a amateur level, what is there that's for people right now? So right now, it's as as Danny said, it's it's really difficult, and uh, obviously, there's no contact sports being played in uh, in Toronto and I believe Canada. So uh, it's going to come down to the CRLA and then the ORL letting us know what we can and can't do. Um, I I can only assume that we're not going to get anything going until fall mm. and even then it'll probably be non-contact flag rugby um, it if it gets people back playing and on the field and uh, help build that sense of community with, uh, with everyone that we've all been missing in the last right. six months it, it, anything will help right now but right. Uh, yeah if, if and then as, as Danny said at the grassroots level we're gonna try to get the kids involved and and uh, yeah, build, build the community from the, the ground up now yeah so. love that love that idea whole tag um, definitely brings in an angle where Sheer and Lil can actually practice, you know, the, the sport that we love. There you go. And because uh, I don't think we would actually go out in full contact and do that immediately. Maybe it's one day, right, Sherry? I don't know. I think you're making a good prop. <laughs> I think so. I think right? So. Like, I mean, we have to, at one point, you know, uh, get into the sport. We would like to. So I think tag is a great way of getting yeah. into that. And uh, like you said, you know, get, anyone can play. So yeah. we're looking forward to that getting rolled out and see how we can participate and also promote the sport yeah. uh, from that perspective. Yeah. I know there's like a comment um, that's always been there or a little bit of a overcast that's always there that people are concerned about the physicality of this rugby league sport in itself. Um, what would you say to people who are still on the fence um, in terms of the sport itself? What would, what would you say to them to encourage them to kind of uh, move forward and, and, and I guess open up to the sport? Just got to give it a go when this whole can tag starts and come down you know it's, it doesn't hurt to give it a go you have a try um it's all it's for all ages all sizes you know that's uh, sexuality too yep. and those are you know transgender thing and stuff um yeah it's just, this sport it includes everybody it comes down to it uh, i mean rugby itself includes everybody so mm -hmm. i mean you can watch it 
I mean, I don't know about you ladies. Half the time when I see you guys watching the game, I feel like you want to jump over that fence and just be in the do. field, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> but, yes. Yeah, it gives that, I don't know, it's just that camaraderie and the whole Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Yeah, you just do feel like a part of that game because yeah. it's such a such a high intensity game you feel like a part of the game and you want to be a part of it um, so and, and it is about really getting yourself exposed to to it a little bit more um, I, I think Danny kind of just talked about us jumping in to to the to the, into the game but if we were to play what position do you think we would be good at <laughs> Nick Hooper? yeah, oh. Danny. yeah. Uh. I see you playing. What do you think? A loose, like loose forward. Yeah. Yeah. Loose okay. forward. Me. Maybe maybe half back, for sure. I don't know. All right. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Both getting involved. Yes. Yeah. I like I'm it. Ready. Okay, I'm good. Go, yeah. Let's go. Awesome. So exciting rugby league news, of course, if you haven't heard, is the joining to the RFL of the Ottawa Aces in 2021. They will be joining League One, and we're pretty excited here in Canada about having a second team here so boys just wondering any plans to try out there is a special call out for canadian athletes to uh, try out this fall any plans to uh answer the call let's start with you danny oh most definitely <laughs> most definitely uh yeah i mean for me i'm i'm at 35 now but don't know how long i can do it I, I, that's the thing i love the game so much but and uh, we'll see how it pans out in these uh, tryouts and see if I can keep up with the young ones. Awesome, awesome. I think we might have to find out when the tryout is so we can come and record it all for you two boys. Nick, how about yourself? Um, still considering it. I don't know, just started a new career and uh, kind of focused on that right now. But right. you know what, it's, uh, it's probably a once in a lifetime opportunity. So I could at least get a run out with the boys and see how I could handle it. But yeah, we'll see. Absolutely. Well, you know, they're, they're building their team. I don't know if you've seen all the... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The tweets and, and on Instagram about the great players that they've been getting so far from the UK. I think both Lil and I think that you two, good names in there, yeah. you two yeah, boys, good though, names. would be a great addition <laughs> to the team for our Canadian content. Uh, so uh, we'll be behind you boys 100% cheering you on thank you, thank if you, you do thank you go out indeed and do that. So, yeah, thanks.